Hello and welcome back to Productive Dragon Channel where we do unboxes, plan with me's and other things. And if you like that, please consider subscribing. Today we have Nightworms. Want to see what's inside? Come join me. Nightworms is a horror book subscription box. It is, if you do a one-time purchase, it is $44 plus shipping and handling. If you're doing a subscription, it is $39.60 per, per month plus shipping and handling. I will tell you to get this you got to be on your balls to get this because this sells out fast i would suggest following their instagram getting on a waiting list something just so you know if you like this and if you i've i've been blessed that i've got it and i'm not getting rid of it because i really do love this box uh you will also get a beverage a bookmark sticker sometimes you get a uh a uh magnet <laughs> so let's see what i got this is the january box whoops okay. all right so let me go ahead and grab this little piece this normally has our beverages and our little items talked about I think that's it of that one. The brew, it's a winter brew from Crooked Crows. Let's see here. Is this telling me? This is a uh, chai tea. This is a chai tea. So that's interesting. Here is a sticker. Mood reader. I love it. <laughs> we have a few. Okay, we have that. We have a magnet, bibliophile. The spirits say buy more books. I like that. All right. Then we have out of, out of ooh, B. Kestra. Ooh. And it looks like this, this one is the haunted past. That is our bookmark always does one of at least one bookmark. It will always have the theme of the month. And I have one book plate. Okay. So let's go with this one first. Ooh, Festival. All right. By Christopher Cl Golden and Tim LeBond. Le All right. The Valhalla Music Festival commemorates a long ago Viking slaughter, but when strange things start to happen, it seems that the massacre may have been, may be far from over. When festival growers begin to disappear and the musicians find themselves playing mysterious and ancient songs as if possessed, the fans have figured have to figure out what's going on before the festival site haunts haunting past comes back in blue and blood for blood. Ah, huh, okay. That's that's interesting. Oh, and it's even got pictures. Okay. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Don't know why, but I was not expecting those in there. Okay, okay. But I don't think that's it. <laughs> okay, so that's one book. And the next book is Bad Creed. Okay, that's what this one's for. All right, let's put that in there. Little book, okay. Uh, Jessica Johns. In this gripping horror lace debut, a Creed woman's dreams lead her on a perilous journey that force her to confront the toll of legacy of violence on her family, her community, and the land they call home. Hmm. When Mackenzie wakes up with a crow head in her hand, she panics. Only moments earlier, she had been fending off massive of birds in a snow-covered forest. In bed, she blinks and the head disappears. Night after night, Mackenzie's dreams return to her, to a memory from her before her sister, Sabrina, ultimately, ultimate death. A weekend at the family's lakefront campsite, a long, obscured, 
by a fog of guilt but when waking world starts to close in too a murder of crows stalk her around the city she emerged wretched water from a nightmare of drowning and she gets threatening text message from someone claiming to be sabrina mackenzie knows this is more than she can handle alone traveling north to her rural hometown of alberta she finds her family still grappling with the same grief she ran away to vancouver to escape they welcome her back but her shaky reunion only seems to be intensifying her dreams and making them more dangerous what really happened the night at the lake and what did it have to do with sabrina's death only a bad creed would put their family at risk but what if if whatever has been calling mackenzie home wasn't within her all along john's spiritual writing takes us from dreams to waking nightmare and ask us to find a universal in this personal uncovered shame doubt and denial as the she f tracks a family's attempt to come to grips with loss there is our author Ooh, that sounds good too let me see something weird chapter covers now that that's that's pretty weird okay So, we got this. We got the festival. We've got two bookmarks. One uh, magnet, one sticker, and our brew. What did I think? I love this box. I really do. Um, these both sound interesting. I can't wait to start reading on them when I get a chance. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm really loving this box. I'm getting to venture in my horror, which is great. Um, what did you all think? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day.